Okay, so right now I'm totally spoiling this video for me, but I was recommended this a long time ago. Exploring the SCP Foundation, the Church of a Broken God. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another video. Sending out a lot of love. As always, recommend me things down below in the comments. Subscribe if you enjoy. And yeah, and you know the title. So I'm reading the comments right now. Let me just show what I'm looking at. On December 31st, 2019, there will be a huge outbreak. God damn it, coronavirus. And then bunch of people saying the timing of the outbreak is a bit uncanny and all this stuff so i could say some esoteric stuff and probably be called absolutely a madman like i said i already am a madman but um skull you're not gonna believe this this comment has aged like a tail of a man door wait what this comment has aged like the tail of a man door hand hook car door tail of a man door hand hook car door what the hell does that mean I've never heard that saying. It sounds so cool, but it sounds so weird put together. It is believed that a massive apocalyptic outbreak will happen of SCP-610, which is which will occur on 31st, 2019. But that's the flesh. Yeah, that's the flesh that hates. What? Okay, okay, okay. Let me get, let me get, let me get ready. But again, oh, I want to get so esoteric, but maybe I'll do it for the people who stick to the end of the video. I'll do it for the end, uh, end of the video about events and weird synchronicities but let's just get into the video let's waste no more time sure. i have the exploring oh yeah oh yeah shout out big shout out to the exploring series i don't know if i've watched many of uh this person's videos yet i don't know if it's let's hear the voice for the broken god all right if his videos yet but shout out to you my man if you want to take down my video i do not mind let's get into it the SCP universe is filled with countless anomalous objects, creatures, and phenomena. And it's only logical that there would also exist religions based around these strange and inexplicable concepts. Yeah. While most religions are focused on the idea of one or more deities and their role in the life and afterlife of humanity, the Church of the Broken God believes in a very different perspective. This video will provide a brief summary of the currently known information related to the church, but due to the lack of canon within the SCP universe, much of this is subject to interpretation or change. To put it simply, the Church of the Broken God believes that their deity, an entity known as Meccan, has been disassembled, shattered, or otherwise broken. Their goal and the focus of their centuries of effort. I kind of get that with the Meccan and the, like, mechanized type thing. I see what's going on. The cog and the gear. Okay. Is to reassemble Meccan using a number of anomalous technological objects. Okay. To explain what happened to Meccan and why they wish to rebuild him, we have to look back to their beliefs on the origin of life. In the beginning, there were two gods. Meccan, the god of metal, machines, and intelligence, and Yaldabaoth, the goddess of flesh, <laughs> Hephaestus, and animal instinct. It is said that Yaldabaoth is responsible for creating mankind, giving them their form and their instincts, but Meccan is responsible for giving us our intellect. In time, humanity progressed, creating continually greater technological marvels, and becoming more and more civilized. This pleased Meccan, but greatly upset Yaldabaoth, as humanity was discarding their basic animal instincts. Yaldabaoth turned on humanity, wishing to turn them back into the wild animal she had first created, but Meccan stepped in to stop her, knowing that a continual Okay, there we okay, so there we go. We have the we have the divine feminine and divine masculine. You know, it's actually funny. This entire time, I haven't looked into too much things about, like, oh. I forgot what the masculine frame is. I know the divine feminine is chaotic, and the, the of course he gave he gave intellect, which the divine masculine is logic, reason, and all of that. And the girls make chaotic, but I don't know if the animalistic nature is also. No, it's just the lower three chakras. Okay, I'm getting out of it. Battle between two gods would have dire consequences. Meccan instead sacrificed himself, shattering his own body in order to use it as a great cage. Meccan's body encased Yaldabaoth, silencing both deities. P 
pieces of Mekin's body scattered across Earth, and fragments of Yaldabaoth began to trickle out of the cage. The followers of Mekin began spreading their religion and set out to gather what pieces of Mekin that they could find. They had two primary goals. One was to re wait, wait. See, it's so weird. Wait, they believe that they need to reassemble the god, so it's not. It's they believe that they need to reassemble. I that's my fault. I just actually took I completely misunderstood that. In the beginning, it almost seemed as if, but like that's just me taking it wrong, as they believe that they were supposed to like find these pieces as if they didn't exist like that my mind just completely skipped over that but like don't mind me let's just continue but like I, at first i was like wait the pieces don't exist they're they're finding made up pieces or they're actually finding evidence of this because then that's different then this isn't like this isn't what they believe they're actually finding pieces of an entity that's Reform. Like, so part of what they believe is actually rooted in fact. Like, they're finding pieces of this shit, this fallen deity. Like, that's a difference. From Mekin, the broken god, and two was to oppose the followers of Yaldabaoth, known as Sarkix. Sarkix. Sarkix deserve their own video to cover their history, which is even more muddled than the Church of the Broken God. Makes sense. But notably, they believe in the alteration of their human forms to achieve godhood, and they practice human sacrifice ritual cannibalism, and the worshipping of disease. The distinctions between the two cults are obvious, with the Mechanites believing they need to cast off their human nature with technology to achieve perfection, and Sarkics believing the opposite, that humanity and the earth need to embrace their basic human nature. So it's literally, it's literally AI versus, like, extreme AI, um configurations to the body or alterations to the body versus extreme nature alterations to the body that's very interesting eschewing objective morality it's believed that sarkics wish to prepare the planet for the inevitable return of yaldabaoth and they primarily hope to achieve this using scp 610 known as the red death or the flesh that hates SCP-610 is a highly contagious disease. Bro, this picture of this gives so much perspective to that shit, and I do not like it. That rapidly transforms and takes over its host, forcing the host to spread the disease as much as possible. 610 will infect any living organism nearby, and also will continue to spread fleshy growths in order to create an area hospitable for continued infection. Left unchecked, 610 would easily spread across the planet, but the SCP Foundation, the Church of the Broken God, and other organizations have managed to keep it contained so far. Before the Foundation, however, it was left to just the followers of Mekin to oppose the Sarkics, and this opposition most notably culminated in the War of the Flesh in the Late Bronze Age, and centered around the regions of Greece. I'm not gonna lie, these are cool drawings. These, this is very cool artwork. I am a, a, a lover of artwork, as you know me to be. <laughs> the Sarkics fought by transforming themselves into abominable monsters oh, so and they with can... tremendous flesh beasts, as well as spreading disease and infection across the land. They are followers of Nurgle. Wait, so they can they can willingly transform, or do they have to like eat the flesh? Primarily, the Red Death. The Mechanites fought by augmenting their bodies with metal and technology, and crafted weapons capable of widespread destruction. They also made great walking titans, piloted by six individuals, and with weapons capable of launching fire, or even warping reality nearby. Warping reality versus flesh. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but some fights just seem unbalanced. One of these colossi is currently contained by the Foundation in disrepair, designated SCP-2406, and shows signs of damage from some sort of anomalous organism. The war between the two groups raged on for some time, although most details have been lost, but both sides suffered massive losses throughout the war. Finally, the Mechanites managed to storm the final Sarkic stronghold in the Aegean, a massive organism that they used as a temple. Knowing their defeat was imminent, 
the priest residing there summoned the Red Death, and also performed a rite that would preserve the large organism so that it could be resurrected later. This organism is also contained by the Foundation, designated SCP-2095. With the Mechanites allied with the various Greek city-states, the war continued, but both sides soon became unable to sustain their efforts, and eventually both the Sarkics and Mechanites faded out of public view, and the world moved on. The continued history of the Sarkics past this point is largely meant for another video, but the followers of Mechan would eventually fade away, with the remnants forming into the organization we now know as the Church of the Broken God. The current Church of the Broken God is splintered into three main factions, which supposedly share a strong animosity for one another. The principal faction, known officially as the Broken Church, is led by an individual known as Robert Bumaro, and largely follow the same tenets of their forefathers. The Cogwork Orthodox Church adhere to a technological style in line with the Industrial Revolution, transforming their bodies using cogs, gears, and steam-powered machines. I was just about to say, so the steampunkers of the Broken Church, cool. They believe in remaking themselves in the image of Meccan, and okay. utilize mechanical mass production as a form of prayer. Very cool, okay. The Church of Maxwellism is on the other end of the Circus. spectrum, focused on modern computers, digital networks, and advanced cybernetics. They I like the icon because you can very easily tell or draw what, what is what they stand for. believe that humanity must be completely connected via a, a massive digital network. Form oh, stop it, bro. This is sounding very familiar. But this, you know you know what's funny about the icon? Tell me not, Brady. I'm going to pull it up. And it's just a weird thing I'm seeing. And that, yes, I'm going to draw the comparison. I am sorry. I know I say it a lot. Literally, that I'm not even that efficient in knowing about him. But I just, just like I said, um, I wanted to bring up. Let me find a good front face one. Tell me you can't see this. Really take a look at this logo and think about it, what I'm about to show you. If you're psychically connected with me right now, what do you think? What image do you think I'm about to show? I have the image. I just need to find a really good front-facing one to to show to really show how I'm seeing this. It's probably the best one. Please don't pop up on screen. It did. Tell me. Tell me you don't see this. Tell me you don't. The head, the tentacles branching out and curling. Tell me not. Tell me you don't see this. That's absolutely insane. That's absolutely insane how I'm seeing this right now. The head, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, three lines, three sets, like how you do the art the art thing where you divide the head well I, I usually divide it like that but that's crazy why does that look so much like that tentacles and the circles could be like his little uh, uh, octopus tentacles uh, that's funny that's one punch man I didn't even realize let me give let me give shout outs to the artist before I absolutely get blasted for that I don't I don't own the picture this is where I got it from, right here. Cause I would not want to want to have this part copyrighted. I'm just I'm just showing an image, but isn't that insane? That looks so much. I mean, like, something akin to a hive mind, it's just weird. so that the combined will of mankind can restore their deity. There are currently a number of anomalous objects contained by the SCP Foundation that are believed to be parts of the Broken God and likely oh. a number that are not yet known to the Foundation. Okay. SCP-1139, known as the Broken Tongue or the Broken Voice, is a metallic block that causes people in a radius around it to forget their known languages and instead comprehend a new shared language. <laughs> SCP-813, known as the Broken Eye, is a glass sphere. Don't tell me they are all known as the Broken Something, Jesus. 
causes small slivers of glass. This could have been written way more clever with the names, man. ...to enter people's eyes. And it's believed that the sphere uses these shards to see through people's eyes in order to find the other missing sphere. Oh. SCP-217, said to be the broken god's blood, or Icor, is a virus that can affect all animal life, including humans, and converts their bodies into a form of organic metal. Organic. This converted material resembles metal, leather, rubber, glass, wood, etc. But it's still... How do you put these things in a box and assemble the god? How do you put all these relics in the same room? You just would die. Someone needs to... Someone need the, You guys in the SCP lore need someone like me to start making some of these things make sense. You can barely get next to half these fucking SCPs, bro. I guess if you're augmented and you're not really an organ, like maybe if you're made out of the organic metal, none of these things can really affect you. Organic material. I never get this with the, the subject's SCPs. DNA. But I love it. It is said that Robert Bumaro, head of the Broken Church, willingly infected himself with the virus and has been fully converted. Like I said. Other SCPs are related to the Church of the Broken God whether supposed parts of Meccan or I otherwise. Swear if this is the broken. One of the most notable is SCP-882. 882 is a massive assembly of random machine parts, such as gears, pulleys, screws, and so on, okay. that are ordinarily in continual motion through unknown means, and also seem to telepathically urge... Through the essence of Meccana. I forgot the name of the god. But wait, wait, okay, okay. I actually realize how easy it would be to discover these artifacts because they're just finding anything with cogs, huh? But to be honest, if they're the creators and the, its creation, anything with cogs or gears or anything steampunk in faction and AI would have to do with the being because honestly, it's creation at the end of the day. So technically, like, I guess this is like literally directly showing relations between them, but like it could be really Nearby everything. Nearby individuals to bring metal to it so that it can grow larger. Hell no. 882 is said to be the heart of the broken god. But one of the proposals for SCP-001 describe an event that shine a new light onto this concept. The event described occurred in Mexico in 1942, in which a number of members of the Church of the Broken God managed to bring together multiple anomalous objects, causing them to form into a massive mechanical entity. This entity ravaged across the country, consuming everything in sight in order to grow larger, and seemed to be actively seeking out other anomalous objects. Another SCP, number 2399, appeared to destroy the mechanical entity, carving out the Gulf of California in the process. The Foundation cleaned up the mess, leaving the inactive core at the bottom of the ocean. The supposed heart of the Broken God, SCP-882, was taken into containment, but later interviews revealed that this heart was in fact manufactured by another organization, the Factory, and was not a part of Meccan. It seems that- Technically if these are deities it would technically still be under them though, even if it's manufactured because if cre creation has its hand in everything, everything is divine. So you know, it'd still be, I, I guess it wouldn't be the heart, the actual heart but it would in a way if you know what I'm talking about. That certain higher ranking individuals in the church, primarily Robert Brumaro, who was not yet the leader, could not locate the heart of Meccan, and instead had one made so that they could forcefully rebuild their god. This corrupted heart, 882, caused the entity to go mad, and the whereabouts of okay. Meccan's actual heart are unknown, that at least sense. according to these documents. Meccan. Finally, there is SCP-2217, which is a beach on an island in Greece, meant to function as a form of workshop for the Broken God, that will assist his followers in fighting the Sarkics and SCP-610, the Red Death. This is revered as a holy site by the Church of the Broken God, known as the Anvil, and it's likely the place where Meccan would finally be properly reassembled. And fucking Hephaestus is out there chilling with his... I was going to say gelato, chilling with a pina colada here too, the anvil, and all the smith gods. What is the smith god in critical role? I think it's, um, what's the smith god in critical role? If you know it, put it down below. 
What god did Matt make? The uh, is it the All Hammer, the All Father, and he's represented by a hammer, I think. What other game gods do we got that are Anvil? We got Andre from Dark Souls. <laughs> Who else we got? All the Smiths are chilling there. That's just what I picture in my mind as I hear this. To fight the second war of the flesh. It's believed that a massive apocalyptic That's outbreak sick. of SCP-610 will occur on December 31st, 2019. And the Foundation are currently working with the Church, as well as the Horizon Initiative and the Global Occult Coalition in order to prevent... Or prepare that for looks this like event. something I didn't see yet in so that's largely decades. the current story as we know it although there are documents that contradict that certain elements sick. of this video and as the SCP universe has no canon yeah. you're free to think what you want about the church true if you do follow this canon however then you can see how the church of the broken God originally presented as a mysterious enemy of the foundation that wished to recreate a powerful entity for unknown purposes is now working with the Foundation. While it's completely up in the air exactly what will occur in the future in regards to this supposed war for the sake of the Earth, the mythology and conflicts between the Sarkics and the Church of the Broken God have certainly been one of the most interesting facets of the SCP universe. He's not wrong. Shout out to him again. Is that it? Let's just roll out. Apart we are broken, but united we are God. SCP-001, oh, SCP the Broken God. Isn't there also 001, like the Gate Guardian or something like that, too? I think I had that recommended. But that is true. Apart, we are broken, but um, we're united, we are God. I like that. I like that. I also like how the SCP universe, a lot of stuff is, like, not, like, you know, like, kind of free for you to deem. Like what it is, and there's not a canon. I would even write my own SCP. Maybe a short one just for fun. A little SCP one I designed. Maybe I'll work on it on the side. I'll think of ideas, write them down as they come. And I'll deliver you guys an SCP video if you guys want to see one. Or maybe submit it to illustrate it. That'd be funny to see my SCP. But, um, yeah. Another, 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 another. I feel like a lot of work goes into that too for everything you gotta consider, but I kinda wanna do like a short one. Well, I guess it's how much work you wanna put in. I guess the wrap up I'll say on the Church of the Broken God is that it's actually a very cool thing. I like, I, I enjoyed this video and I can see a lot of like comparisons you can draw or illusions that draw you to real life concepts. Um, uh, yeah. You know, it's 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 fiction. I'm not gonna get too esoteric about things. I think I said that by the end of the video I would talk about things, but nah, there's not much I want to say. But it is definitely not an an accident like uh, that. This uh, this is this is Megatron's weirdest resurrection plot so far. Flesh mommy and Mecha daddy settling millennia. Mill mill what? Millenniums? Millenniums? Is it millenniums? Is millenniums spelled like this? Long custody battle over the kids. Yeah, that they created. A massive outbreak. But yeah, that's weird, right? That's not an accident that people draw that time. So Mekin's actually a chill dude. Way more than the y'all the both. The Adeptus Mechanicus is the church in the 41st millennia. Due to the lack of canon and SCP lore, you can't tell me I'm wrong. Ha! Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yep. All right, I think I'm out of here. Not much more to say. Sorry, sorry for stalling. I was just kind of trying to figure a few last things to say, but I don't have anything. This is actually cool. I like the video, and I want to check out the lore on the other side. Yeah, flushy, flushy, flush. All right. Much love and moonlight, and I'll see you in the next one. Tell your friends we're going to have a, this is probably too late to say this, but Frightening Fridays. Peace out.